And without further ado, Mary Ann Hubble. Okay. Well, thank you. I, I'm impressed that so many of you are coming to spend the evening uh, when you're so close to spring break. And so that, I, I applaud you for that. If your elementary child does not have a red folder yet, they can come up and get a red folder. Every one of the elementary can come up and get a red folder and a set of stickers that can decorate it. Thank you. Because they'll, they'll need it. Come on up. Yep, each elementary student. There you go. There you go. And you get a set of stickers. Okay. And when you go ahead and take a red folder, I'm going to I'm going to cut off the top, please, cuz they're kind of obnoxious. Okay. What is this money for? Yeah, uh, you'll see. My mom said there's money for it. What? Oh. Like they got me like a lock up thing because I keep taking money without permission. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. Could I? You're very welcome. And I'll slice this open for you. Hold on. Here you go. Thank you. Um, are you elementary? Yep. And you can pick a set of stickers if you want to decorate it. And I'll slice it open for you if you'd like. Thank you. Sure. Okay. The stickers can decorate the folders. Uh, that way you can make it your own. Okay. And then inside of the inside of there, you will see papers on the left. And then you'll see a hundreds chart that's in a plastic sleeve. And then you'll see a paper clip together set of papers. We'll go through those in a second. Okay. And does he need a folder yet? Do you need a folder? Yes. Okay. Folder for each one of you? Yeah. And then do you want to pick a set of stickers? And I'll slice it open. Uh, she's got the folder for you. You can pick a set of stickers. Uh, Pardon me? Do I get too? Yes, she picked one up for you. Okay. Okay. And do you want to give him his folder, please? What would you like? I'm sorry, but I like this one. Okay. All right. There you go. Decorate it up. Okay. Okay. Would you write quarter equals, dime equals, nickel equals, and penny equals in like this size? That'd be great. Okay. need a folder? Yes, each elementary, yes. Okay. And then they can have a set of stickers to decorate it. Okay. And I'll be happy to slice it open because they're obnoxious. Cool. Yeah, they're all shiny, cool ones. Maybe these two? Okay. Yep. Folder for each kid, each elementary kid. I'm glad you came. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Can you check this? I'm partially dyslexic, so I'm not, I can't really tell if I spelled some of these things right. Um, that looks good to me. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, okay. All right. Good, good, good. Okay. If you have a free hand, um, you can open it up. On the left-hand side, those papers can come out. The first one tells the agenda for the evening. And here you go. Sure. 
The left-hand side is for kindergarten through second grade. How many of you kids are in kindergarten, first grade, or second grade? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so cool, six, okay. So you're gonna be doing, knowing the value of a penny, a nickel, a dime, and a quarter, and then you're gonna roll dice. You're gonna roll some big fat dice, and one of the colors, like say the yellow one, you roll it, that tells you how many quarters to take, and then the red one might tell you the number of dimes, blue might tell you the number of nickels, and then you'll figure out how much that is. And parents, if you want to tone that down to dimes, nickels, pennies, rather than having quarters, that's just fine. Um, and so then you find the total value of it. Then you're going to be given some money, in, and they're always the same. They're, every one of these has two quarters, three dimes, three nickels, and five pennies. And you get to come up and buy something, only you don't really buy it. It's going to stay mine. But you're going to buy it like this orange glass is 35 cents. And so you'll tell the person that's here, what coins would you need to buy 35 cents? OK? Parents, you're welcome to come behind them and whisper in their ears. Not a problem. And then you'll keep the money. And then you'll just say, well, I'd like to buy this book. And so that's 95 cents. So then you'll figure out what coins do you need for 95 cents, OK? That kind of thing. I, I want this to be fun and interesting, OK? Third through fifth grade, how many are third, fourth, fifth, or sixth? Fifth. <laughs> OK. Two. Oh, that's a majority. OK, cool. Well, the years are the second column. Again, we're going to briefly go over the value of a nickel dime quarter. And then there's, I have these flashcards, which are cool and convenient way to do it. And you have to figure out, OK, this has two quarters and one dime. What's that worth? OK, and then the next one has a half dollar, a nickel, and a penny. What is that worth? And then, parents, the answers are in the back. <laughs> so you don't have to be one step behind them. Um, so two quarters and a nickel, what is it worth? So you'll do one, and then you'll put it back in the pile, pick another one, do one, and put it back in the pile, um, and tell the adult that's at the table how much it's worth. OK? Uh, I want that to be helpful to you to be able to go speedily through it and to have good knowledge, but to be able to do it quickly. Okay. Then your last thing is you'll be given $10, and you will come over here, and you will buy something. And they're all priced and everything, only you won't really buy it. Um, if it says $2.25, you're going to say that would take $2 bills and a quarter. And then I also want you to be able to figure out how much change would you get back. Okay, That might take you longer, but that's OK. That's good knowledge to have. Okay, um, She did mention that, yep, I volunteered for a lot of years, 27 years in schools. And I taught for 19 years. and. I, at this point, I tutor, and I love it. I also have a math website, and that's called monumentalmath.com. It has over 12,000 problems for your kids to practice dozens and dozens of topics. Okay? It's free, and, and it, there's no ads on it. There's no, I don't sell your email addresses or anything like that. It's just free. Okay? People say, well, how do you make money on your website? I don't. I don't make it. I, it's just free. Um, like when I volunteered at school, it was free. It's OK. Um, then I have eight math game apps that are all available on Apple devices. Uh, Teddy Bear Math, there's five of those. They all deal with some topic of addition. And then three of them that are hopscotch math. And those all deal with fraction topics. They're free. If you want to buy more levels, that's $1.99. Or if you want to buy for teddy bear math, it's adorable. 
Uh, my computer animator did a great job. So as the student does five problems, they put on, every time they're correct, they can put on the eyebrows or the eyes and the nose and the mouth for the teddy bear. Um, not that teddy bears actually have eyebrows, but hey, whatever. Um, then there becomes five pieces of outfits and the kid keeps trying to do more math and then they dress it and it becomes a farmer bear or a hiker bear or has football outfit or ballerina outfit or a pretty dress or um, astronaut or stuff like that. Uh, so, and then after 10 problems, you go again. And you 10 problems, you go again. Um, for $1.99, you can also buy more sets of outfits. And so those are fun. Uh, I've also been paying computer people to convert the code for Apple devices, convert it to being able to be on Android devices, because there's a lot more Android devices out there in the world than there are Apple, because they're less expensive than Apple ones. So five of those have become available on Android. One of them, I hired somebody to uh, tell me how you would convert the words into French. And how, I hired somebody else. How would you convert the words into Spanish? And so that one you do pay $1.99 for. But four of them are free. One of them costs $1.99. Uh, it's life. Um, so I would highly recommend take a look at them. We'll go on the website tonight so you get an idea. It's uh, pretty large. Um, and so it's good to ha have an introduction. My second little thing is a little flyer that gives you pictures of my apps down there. And this is the logo for my website. The next one, the value of each coin. Okay, value of each coin. And you probably know this, and some of you have something to write with, and that's good. I would hope everyone does. You now do. Okay. Okay, what's the value of a nickel? Yes, ma'am. Five cents. What's the value of a dime? Yes. Yes, 10 cents. Okay, what's the value of a penny? Yes, sir. That's right, one cent. And then what's the value of a quarter? Yes. 25 cents, yes. If I had two dimes and one nickel, <laughs> two dimes and one nickel, what would that be worth? That would be two dimes and one nickel. What would that be worth? Uh, yes. Two dimes and one nickel would be worth 25 cents, yes. If I had one nickel and three pennies, what is that worth? Yes. Eight cents, yes. What if I had a quarter and three pennies? What would that be worth? Yes. 28 cents, because 25 plus three of those, yes. Um, so that's part of the worksheet, to just practice doing that. If they don't finish it all tonight, parents, that's okay. You can do it at home with them. Uh, they love working with real money, real coins. Tonight we're going to be working with plastic ones. Okay, addings with sums of 50 or 100. Let's do the bottom part, because if you need to know the change back from a dollar, you have to have an idea of what to do to find that. So, if you want, if you pay for something and it is 35 cents, that means the store will keep 35. And then they will give you back, if you give them a dollar, they need to give you back some money. So they'll give you five plus 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So they'll give you 60 plus five, they'll give you 65 cents. Okay, you'll be practicing. Hundreds charts are wonderful to practice a lot of things. It's very good for kids to know 
what two numbers will add up to 100. Um, I stayed with numbers that either end in a five or a zero, just because I'd rather have them be successful rather than challenge too much. Okay, so then your last one, value of quarters. Go for it. And then you can have a set of stickers too. And would you slice it open for her, please? Go ahead and pick whatever stickers you want. Okay. Okay, the value of quarters. We're going to go through it real quickly. The value of one quarter is 25. What's the value of two quarters then? What would be 25 and 25? 50. What's the value of three quarters? Yeah. 75, yes. What's the value of four quarters? Yes. A dollar or a hundred cents? Yes. What would be five quarters then? That'd be the dollar plus another quarter. Yes, sir. 100 and, 125 or a dollar 25? Yes. Okay, how about if it's six quarters? And parents, you can be, kids, you can be filling these in. Six quarters would be worth how much? Dollar fifty is correct. Good job. Okay, seven quarters. Seven quarters would be worth yes, a dollar seventy-five. Now notice the pattern: twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five, a dollar, dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty, dollar seventy-five. What would be next? Two dollars, yes, yes. Then what would the next one be? Nine quarters. So twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five, a dollar, dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty, dollar seventy-five, two dollars, and then yes, two dollars and twenty-five cents. And then what would be after that? Two fifty. And then what would be after that? And you can slice it open for them because they're kind of obnoxious. After two dollars and fifty cents, what would eleven quarters be worth? Yes, yes, two seventy-five. That's right. So now twelve quarters would be worth yes, three dollars. So thirteen quarters would be worth yes, three dollars and twenty-five cents, and then. Yes, 14 quarters would be worth $3.50, and then 375, and then $4. Okay, look for patterns in life, in math, because it helps your brain make it make sense. Okay, um, and I just moved the pizza over there. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Then, if you want to pull that set of problems out. Problem titles. These are the titles of about 300 problem sets, and so probably about 8,000 out of the 12,000 problems. Okay, you can see it gives you titles here, and then it, underneath it'll have one, two, three, or over to the side it'll have one, two, three, four, five. That means for that topic, there's five sets of them. Every set is 25. So there's 125 problems just to practice that. 125 for that one, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Then it also tells you across the top, it tells you what grade level it's for. So if you just or have a third grader, you just can make a mark down the third grade so that you can see, OK, the first ones don't even apply to third grade. But pretty soon, by the time you're on the next page, OK, now it's third grade, and then fourth, fifth, and it starts going into middle school, et cetera, et cetera. Lots of them. And I know I've tutored people like adults that are have going back to college. And you know, school was a long time for them, a long time ago for them. And so they just need to practice and practice and practice again. And they don't have a million dollars to keep on having a tutor practice with them. But this way, they can practice on their own. If I can get them started, then they can do it on their own. These are all free. All of them are multiple choice answers. So they've got to get it right at some point. <laughs> yeah. OK. Questions for me? Yes. 
Do you have a question? When do you get to buy things? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. I have just a clarifying question. So for the little pink tube, um, we're going to grab dice in a cup of yes. set, and then for the older, we get the flashcards in a cup of money? You've got a good memory, yes. Okay, so yeah. I'm a teacher. I just to Oh, okay. What do you teach? I'm a reading intervention. Oh, okay. So the opposite of yours. Here. Yes, that's okay, though. Yeah. I still like you. No, just kidding. Um, Tell your math people at your school. There you go. Tell yeah, them. Right. Whoops. Okay. Um, it would be convenient yes. if the since I, there's a limited number of flashcards. It would be convenient if the upper elementaries, third through fifth, can sort of be together. Uh, they can leave their their folder and stuff and just do the the flashcards. How about over at this area? Is there anybody at this table set of tables? Are any of you first K, kindergarten, first or second? OK. So I'll have you move, please. OK. All right. So here will be the set of cards. If you're third through fifth grade, you can come over there and pick up a set of cards. Parents, if you wouldn't mind, uh, helping make sure they're right. Or if you think they'd argue with you, then help somebody else's kid. Okay, and just practice. Okay, so you look at the coins and you say what it's worth. If you're kindergarten first or second, would you mind coming over to this area, please? Um, uh, go there, please. Yeah. Nope, nope, you don't need to take your folders with. Okay. Okay, if you're kindergarten, first or second, can you come here? If you're third through fifth, can you go over there and do the flashcards? Okay. Uh, just hold on. Excuse me. Okay. You don't take the flashcards. You stay there and do it, and then you, you just take one. Okay, because otherwise, yeah. You just take one, you figure it out. You tell Elise what the answer is, or tell a parent, and, then, and show them it, so then you're, you know if you're right or wrong. <laughs> you're welcome to go further down. Um, okay, by the lady who said she's a teacher, would you mind going down there? And would you want to go with her? By the lady who said she's a teacher. Okay. And can we close this up so somebody can be right here and do it? That's a great idea to hand them out. <laughs> you safe up there? You need to get down? Can you get down? Do you want help? Ta-da! Okay. Do we have a question? Do we get all of the colors? No, you get one set. Each person, each... Oh, yes. Uh, no, um, let me get you started. <laughs> okay. Okay. First, I want you to use these. Okay. And tell, and I'm going to have you tell me. Here you go. I want you to pull out one quarter and three dimes and tell me what's that worth. Pardon me. You know what a quarter. Say it again. What? I don't know. You got to talk louder, please. Yes, right here. Yes. Okay. The largest ones are the quarters. Okay, so if you have one quarter and three dimes, what is that worth? So pull out one quarter and three dimes. Oh, that's not a bad idea. You have how much is the quarter worth? No. What is the, what's worth five? Okay. Yeah. So what is Do you see how you want to, do you want to set them down? Like, okay. So how many is this? Three dimes. Is how many? So this is 
Okay. Okay. So one quarter and three dimes. There you go. Twenty-five plus ten would be thirty-five. You're right. Here's your quarter. Yep. And three dimes. Those are the little silver ones. Plus twenty. So let's see. And then plus ten would be thirty-five. Plus ten more would be forty-five. And then plus this one, fifty-five. Okay. And parents, you're welcome to come up with whatever you want. Do, they don't have to all go at my pace, is what I'm saying. Okay, I need this. Do you, so we okay. can keep telling her different amounts to pull out. Yes, yes. That'll go a lot faster. Okay. Um, and then what, what is the plan? Oh, okay. You're just putting extras. Uh, no, oh, this yeah, is for when we move on to this. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay, what? Those are nickels. Okay. 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 Um, what would now take out a dime, a nickel, and a penny? What is that worth? Dime and a nickel and a penny. Can you do a dime, a nickel, and a penny? Do you not even have to pull them out? You're that just thinking, sense. thinking, thinking? Well, That's we good. Oh, That's oh, good. Oh, we did that one together. That's good. What's up, Heather? No. See you what was the next one? Oh, I, a dime, a nickel, and a penny. And you're welcome to come up with whatever ones you want. That's not a nickel. What is this? 25 cents. I know you might not remember them all at once, but I can help you a little bit. This okay. is only worth and Did you cents. figure it out? That's a nickel. Which, what's a little weird is this is a dime of 10 cents, but it's smaller than a nickel that's worth 5 cents. A dime and a nickel would be 10 cents. This is a penny, it's just worth 1. 10 cents. Nope, the other way around. Okay, here can be yours. What? 56. Could be. Do you mean where? What's the question? What do you mean? Good job. You want to try another one? Okay. A dime is ten cents. So are you over there? Are you here? Oh. Okay. So fifty-six cents. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Now you're welcome to come up with whatever other things you want. Three nickels and one dime or whatever. Okay. How about give me three nickels and one dime? Well, you can use some of hers. We have lots. You can use, you can use some of hers. I, I would think. Fifty what? What did I say? Did I say fifty-five cents for you? I want you to give me thirty cents. Pardon? I figured it out. Oh, okay, good. And then, and then let's ha have you do one quarter, one dime, and one nickel. How about that? So what are these worth? Yeah. Say it again. Okay. 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 Would she want to take one of these? Ooh, and um, just invent problem. What would be a quarter and a nickel? And so then do you tell her? Sure. Sure. Okay. Oh. Okay. Cool. She's right here at the end of the table. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Sure. Hey, and I'll bring the coins to you. Okay, if you have, and I'll just flip this over so then the, everything's on white. If you had a quarter, a nickel, and a dime, what would that be worth? Quarter, yep, that's a quarter, and a nickel and a dime. That's a dime. Okay, yep, that's a dime. So you got a quarter, dime, and now we need a nickel. 
Now you got them all. So what is this worth? 25 plus five would be worth how much? 25 plus five. And here's a good way to use this. If you're already at 25 and you add five more, one, two, three, four, five, so that's 30. 30 plus 10 would be 40. Okay, let's do two quarters and two dimes. Okay, what's two quarters for? Okay, yep. 25 plus another 5 and 20 would be 50. So that's 50 plus 10. 50 plus 10 makes 60. And then plus another 10 would make 70. Okay. Yes, ma'am, but you do have electronics and a, a talker to talk to. I left it because I just got off work. But he is real good as on a computer. Like, okay. You can do it on a computer, but hey, now you just a pretty shy. But he artistic. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And, we, and he just started talking like two years ago. I said, because okay. he was non verbal for a long time. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. Okay. okay. I am looking for it too. And if okay, if he can, like, if you come up with what would be the value of one quarter and three pennies, could he point to the twenty-five and then go? That's one, 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 one. Show me twenty-five. What's twenty-five on here? Twenty-five. Twenty-five, and then. Ah, good idea. Plus a penny, plus another penny, plus another penny. So then What's it's worth. Number? What's that? What's that number? Say, I can't hear you. Say last. 28. What's this? Good job. Okay. Okay, then we just do it again. What would be one quarter and one nickel? Can you put that quarter back on? 25. 25. Show me 25. Yes. And then 5 is, five. is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What's Show that a number? Who? What's this? Say it out loud. It's okay. Speak louder. What's this? 30. He it is so okay. light. You just got to uh -huh. be here to Okay. Hear. Well, I'm hard of hearing, so it's okay. that could be that. No, ma'am. <laughs> okay, what would be two dimes and two nickels? Okay, so where that's worth 10 cents. Where's 10 cents? Show me 10. Where's 10? Can you put it on the 10? What's in it? Yes. Ten. And that's worth another 10, so 10 ten. and 10 would be 20. 20. 20. Can you put that on the 20? Because 10 and 10 will make 20. No. Can you put that one here? And then if we want two nickels, that's worth five. One, two, three, four, five. Can you put one of those nickels on here? Nope, no. that's the quarter. Let's go with nickels. 25. And then we just have five more. One, two, three, four, five. So you put it on there. So two dimes and two nickels became, can you say that one? What's that? What's this? 30 cents, that's right. Could you keep going and I'll, I'll keep seeing how that's going. Yes, they're done? Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, Okay. Sorry, sweetie. Um, they're um, they're gonna need a ten dollar bill, two fives, and five ones. And those are on that table. They're each gonna need it. So have them do it rather than one person handing them out. I mean, always move the money. 
Right. Oh, you know what? Let's just go with five and one. What happens when you've done all of the French fries? She's bringing the next thing. Because now you're going to buy things. Some of them like smashed your mouth, some of them fizzled out. Yep, and I would have loved to have two assistants, but I don't have them. <laughs> okay. Okay. Would you be willing to be on the other side of the table? And when they say, I want to buy this, uh, then they would have to tell you what they would need. I'd need a dollar and two quarters. And then you say, how much change would you get back if they give you a $5 bill? How much change would you get back? And so then they have to figure that out. Yep, one, five, and five, ones. Uh, Elise, would you want to be on this side too also? So when they say, I would like to buy this, and it's two dollars and eighty cents. They'd have to tell you what they would need to give you. Okay. Two dollars and then like three quarters and a nickel. Okay. And then they also need to tell you when they're right. Um, how much would they get back from their five dollar bill? Okay. Okay. I'll look. Excuse me. How many more do you need? Four. Thank you for being so good at answering questions. That's really good. Yep, that's four of them. Thank you. And if I gave you too many, shh, that's okay. Okay. And that's fine. Um, but you're welcome to go up and pretend buying them. Um, <laughs> look at you race through everything. All right. That's good. Okay. Get your hands full. Okay. And do you want to be behind here too, also? So. And then, once you've done it once, would you step to the back of the line, let people keep going? Okay, so if you can be over here on this side, so when they say, I would like to buy this book, they would have to tell you what they would need to give you, a dollar and two quarters. Okay, right. So then you'd say, so if you gave me two dollars, like they will, she's good at this. She hands off the money. How much do they get back? Okay. If they gave two dollars, what do they need to get back? Okay. Hopefully they they'll go slowly and then they'll increase in their speed. Okay. And hopefully they'll have good accuracy. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You, you can come over here. Cents, and you've given me seven dollars. How much money? Okay. And you can go at the sorry. You can go at the side of the table too. And then once you've done it once, then go to the back of the line. Let, we'll just keep it flowing. Have you gotten up there yet? Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Seven. Oh. Okay, what do I get? Okay. Uh, roll dice and take that many quarters. I'm in it. Are you wanting these back? Yes, I want those back, okay. yes. Okay. Quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies. So, roll each one, please. Okay. And let's do that. And this. So now you take. This is a nickel. You take three quarters, and you take five dimes, and you take four nickels, okay? And then I want you to add that up. Can you roll some dice too, please? You pick three colors. Um, let's put the quarters away. Black is not my color. 
color, that's for sure. That's okay. <laughs> and we don't need to do pennies because that'll just take longer. Okay. So. Okay, do I roll? One. Whoop. That's an interesting one. Two. <laughs> what do you have? What that one is. I got two. Wait, no, I'm going to Nickels. Say. Okay, so one quarter, one dime, and six nickels. What's yours worth? 75. 85, 95, and then let's add a nickel. That'd be a dollar. What are these? Dollar ten, dollar twenty, dollar thirty, dollar thirty-five, dollar forty, dollar forty-five. So one dollar and forty-five cents. And then you put these back and you roll them again. Okay, and that's how we do this. And then, yeah. Okay. You count it up? Okay. All right, we'll give heaven a turn, okay? Okay. You need some space, huh? Okay. Just like put it in a bottle. Roll them again. What? Okay, let's give heaven a turn, so why don't you stand yes, up? Yes, you may. Sure. Yes. You just go to the back of the line, and you come up again, and you just pretend buying something right, again. Put that number next to one of the trays. Yep. Roll yep, because I want you to be able to, to figure things out. Okay. Are you in second grade? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. First grade. Whatever. Then... Um, you can do what they're doing. Do you want to see what they're doing? Come on over. Um, let's see. Come on over here. We're just going to move this for now. Okay. I'll get you three colors of dice. And it's okay. We're all learning. So. Okay. Okay. You're going to roll dice. And you're gonna, okay. so now you're gonna that'll be like the that. quarters. Uh, I'm gonna move them down closer for you. Can you get a black one, please? So you're saying you don't know how to count by 25? Nope, two quarters. Yep, and then roll this. Those are 25. Then roll this one, and that'll tell you how many dimes. Okay, dimes are the tiny ones. Okay, can you roll this? Can you pull out your pennies, <laughs> Okay, take five dimes. Not from here, from the plate. Do you need to do it too? Uh, no, I'm going to keep them for another time. Okay. Do you need to come over here where you have more space? I can move this stuff out of the way. What's that? So, when do we do the dash so, The what? How do we do the dash This is 15. Okay. What's 15? Okay. Sir, could I have you move your hands? Yes. Thanks. No, I know. I know. I'll show you in a second. I'm not ignoring you. So actually, this much <laughs> equals this much. Um, this is, is this for penny or um, nickels? That one's nickels. Okay. Look, you could figure it out. How much is this? You know that this is. You know this is ten, and these are five. So if you start by ten and you count by five, you can figure it out. Ten, ten. 10 15, I'm almost ready. 20, that kind of makes sense. Are we it's okay if it doesn't. I, I'll do it. I'll do it. There. We're going to put this away. Okay. So now. All right, guys. Let's give someone else a turn. Chris. Okay. And. Wait, do we use the box We can put the dice back. Do you what? So wouldn't that be the Okay. Is she ready to move on to something else? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. Come on over here. Okay, cool. I want them. Uh, no, let's not do the pennies. Uh, let me tell him first. Okay. You roll the dice and you see, okay, that means I want three quarters. Roll that dice. And that means you want three dimes. And then roll that one. Oh, how about that? Three, three, and three. And then you figure out how much that's worth. 
So three quarters is 75, plus five would be 80. 85, 90, 95, I mean 100, 110, 120. So then you put them back and you roll them again. Okay. I would appreciate your help if you can. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's say you want to buy this right here. So 65 cents. So you would tell me or tell this dad what would what coins would you give? So you would give two quarters. That'll make 50 cents. And then you could give a dime. That'll make 60. And then in, that's right. And then he'll say if you're right or wrong. Okay. And then you just go buy something else. Okay. You want to come over here, sweetie? Who is first in line? Or is there going to be two lines? Uh, anybody can do it. If, if you can keep up with them saying, I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> you can come All right. Um, Grace, go ahead. Go ahead and pick one. Something you want to buy, my love. Okay. What would you like to buy? Something you would like to buy on the table. Okay. Tambourine. That, that would be worth 35 so cents. What, what you coins have to would you need for 35 cents? 25, so that's a quarter. And then you would need three 10 quarters. more cents. Three dimes is incorrect, right? So a quarter and a dime. Give you three, give quarter three and years. a dime. Okay, now buy something else. Okay, and that says three for 50 cents. Kevin, what would coins you would you need to give? Would you like to give what, this a try? How many, how many quarters would you need to give for 50 cents? Two quarters, that's worth 50. And if she wants to come over and start buying things, they're welcome to do that. And you, if you want to come up and do this, you can leave your your um, glass on the table. And then, oh, hold on one second. So you would say, I would like to buy this book or whatever. And then you'll need to tell me what coins would you need to buy that. That one's worth five. You don't really get to buy it, keep it, so it's just to practice. That one's worth 25. Keep going, keep messing, keep going. Mommy's going to put the user rest. Dimes worth 10. Okay. So you know, you have four times, you know you need four dimes. But, if you have four dimes, that's what? 40 cents. How much cents? But dice say three. Five. What do you mean? Oh, it said three, yes. Three for 50 cents. But you don't really buy them and get them. I just want to have you practice. What coins would you need to make 50 cents? 25 and 25. That would make 50. What? Which coin is worth 25? Quarter. So you'd need two quarters. Good. Do it again. What else would you like to buy? Okay. So more dice. Three for 55. So how? What coins would you need? Okay. And you don't really need to give us any coins. You just need to tell us. Okay? Yep. You don't really need to. Uh, uh, you were ready. Okay, for 55 cents, what would you need? Well, you'd need 50 cents. That's two quarters. And then you need to get to 55. So... Could you give me 95 cents, or you can tell me the coins? Nickel. Two quarters and a nickel would get you this. Okay. What would you like to buy? Okay, a white car, 40 cents. How many how many dimes would you need for that? That would be a good start. And you look for what you want to buy next. Four dimes. If you did a quarter... Then a quarter would need a nickel to get to 30, and then how much to get to 40? Or what, what's the dime worth? 30 plus what would get you to 40? Oh, cool. That's right. So what coin is that? One dime. So the a 10 is, is a... Worth how much? And the dime is worth how much? Dime. Come on over here, sweetie. Okay, um, 
So you yeah. pretend you're buying something. She just pretended she was buying this white car. So I asked her how many dimes would that be, and she knew 10, 20, 30, 40, it would take four dimes. And then we did it a different way. If you were gonna buy this book, that would be fifth, you don't really have to give me any coin, okay? Just stay here, wait until she's done. Okay, so then that would be like 50 and 10. How many quarters make 50 cents? Two quarters. So you'd need two quarters, plus then you need 10 more. What's that kind of coin when you need 10? Which one's worth 10? I know how to count by 10, but I know how to count by these, but I do not know how to count by these. The dime. The dime is worth 10. Okay, then you think of what else you would like to buy. Okay? And you don't really have to give us money. You can just put that back over at the table. We just want to have you figure it out. Okay. So, so can you can count with me slower by like tens? Yes, yeah, sure. Go for it. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. Okay. She's going for the big stuff. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sleepy squirrel. Good night, sleepy squirrel. Uh, that needs 90 cents. How many dimes would be 90? Okay. You tell me. We have 90 cents with nine dimes, and we need okay. how many more cents? Do you know to get to 95? Um, that is 45 cents. That was, this was 35. 45. How do you make 40? 10, 20, 30, 40. So for what? You said we had with nine dimes. Dimes? Four dimes will make 40, and then we need five. Which coin is worth five? Nickel. So you'd need four dimes and one nickel. Good job. Go again. Okay. Would you want to? Would you mind coming and doing this? Okay. 40 cents. How many dimes would it take to make 40 cents? Total. All together. Yeah. yeah. Very good. And then if you started with a quarter, you could do it that way too. Pick a new one. Yeah, go ahead, grab some more. Pick a new one. What's your yes, next you one? absolutely can. Oh. oh. Okay, maracas. Oh, man, two for 30 it. cents. You're you want right to see what he would need for points. Very good job. Oh, right. Right. Okay. okay. Who's next? Good job, Jess. All right, okay. Whatever. Are you good at counting with me? Uh, what are you going to buy? <laughs> I think I just about forgot how to count with money. We never use it anymore. It feels like. Okay, 35 cents. So if you gave me a quarter, what would that be worth? Three dimes. Okay. And five. What you need, let me count you, girl. Five you cents. Five cents. And cents. each cent is worth. You had it right the first time. Let's count. But each. Let's count what? By which one's worth one 10, cent? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Yes. So three dimes and five pennies. That's right. Oh no. Okay, you're next. Because that would be. Three for fifty-five cents. So fifty-five. What coins would you need to make fifty-five? One in your hand makes. So what's the total? And while you're thinking, I'll be right back. And would he want to come over here and buy stuff? Come on over. Okay. So like if you were, oh, hold on one second. If you were going to buy this, that's a 60 cents. So what kind of coins would you need? Yeah. Those maracas What were you going to, how would you get 55 cents? Okay. Would you like to buy something, young lady? What would you like to buy? The maracas. Two quarters and one quarter. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. That was a good choice. Well, if you want the maracas, Keep going. they do cost 30 cents. Oh, okay. I'm going to go see how it's going at that table, and then pretty soon we'll stop. 
and we'll do the website. She'll project it up on the screen, and we'll go on to the next thing. Okay, sounds good. I, I would have loved to have two or three helpers today, so I'm glad parents are okay with chipping in. Yeah, absolutely. My pleasure. Okay, good. Good, good, good. <laughs> The brown horse. I'm, oh, you know what? Combine two things. And we are leveled up, actually. So combine two things. And like a two-minute warning, and then we'll stop. And they'll and take their seat. We'll do the website. Okay. You're doing a worksheet when no one even told you you had to. Good job. Oh, okay. What if, can I use that yellow chip? I'll show you an idea of what I do. Yeah. If, if somebody gave me 45, if they were going to buy something for 45 cents, but they gave me a dollar, a dollar is worth a hundred. So I have to, I will keep 45 and then I have to give them some. So I would give them 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I would have to give them 55 cents. Okay? If they gave me a dollar and it only cost 60, I will keep 60 and I give them 10, 20, 30, 40. They get 40 cents back. Okay? If it costs 85 dollars and they, 85 cents, and they gave me a dollar, I will keep the 85, and then I have to give them back 10 plus 5, so I give them back 10 plus 5, which is? What's 10 plus 5, Julian? He over it. <laughs> Julian, 15? Good job. 15, good job. What if it's 30 cents? And they give me a dollar. I will keep 30 cents, but then I give them back how much money? Count 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60. and what's this? Say it out loud so I can hear you. You said it. 70. That's right. Then we can just do like, what if it's 35? They give me a dollar, I'll keep 35. Mm -hmm. Then I have to give them 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I give them how much? I give them 60 and 5. I know for sure I'll be working with him on this at home, uh -huh. so, one -on -one, uh -huh. so he can get the hang of it. And then they get the hang of, oh, 5 and 95, 18 and 15 and 85, 25 and 75, 65 and 35, 55 and 45. That's always good to find. And this, this is on one of my apps, and it's okay. also on my website. Yes. So yes. it can be right at your fingertips, and I'll gather all these things. And what do you buy? Which pain what would that bring? Last you? problem, and then they can take their seat. Okay. The bucket and the okay. Whoops. Last problem, and then they can take their seat. No, I'm going to have everybody start taking their seat. Would you go do that, please? We got a cleaner. This is good. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> This person looks done, huh? Oh, thank you, guys. Yeah, very nice. Okay, and, oh. Have you had a couple of chances to go buy something? Okay, good. 
Have you had a couple chances to go buy something and now you're just kind of hanging out? Okay. You can give, you can just leave the money, I'll take the money, and you can go take your seat and I'm going to have everyone sit down. Okay. We can call it, they can just put all their money right there and they can go take their seat. And everybody can go take their seat. You want to just put your pile of money right there, please? Yep. Would you explain this to the parents again before we head Yeah. Okay. Yep. Thank you. you bet. <laughs> okay. And. Sure, but actually, yeah, but you can just leave them like this. Uh, I'll, I'd rather do it afterwards. And you can open up a computer if possible or your phone and go to my website and we'll try to get everybody started and have an idea on that. Okay. And you can all, I'll take these and you can go take a seat and we'll get started on a computer. Like bingo or something. What? Are we playing a game like bingo or something? Oh, okay. Okay. If you could all take your seat and if you brought a computer, Please open it up. Okay, if you brought a computer or your phone, please open it up. You'll need to. Do you need me there now? Yes, please. Okay. You'll need to go to your settings and then choose a uh, internet. You'll need Pikes Peak Library District dash W. And that'll let you in. Then it'll take about 15 seconds of waiting. And then it'll say, do you accept that you're supposed to be a responsible user? You hit accept and it lets you get on the internet. Okay? So if everyone can get on a, some form of electronic device and go to the website, that'd be great. Okay? Pardon? Sure. That'd be great. Okay, so you need to go to your settings and go to Pikes Peak Library District dash W. Okay. Once you're on the internet, you can go to monumentalmath.com. It's up there. It's also it's also on here, and it's also on this colorful little flyer, okay, monumentalmath.com. Then, like I said, it doesn't cost you anything and I don't sell your emails or anything. So you can go up to the upper right and it'll say sign up. Thank you. So go ahead and sign up. Uh, to do a sign up, you need to put in an email address and then you need to give yourself or what will be for your kid a username, one that you'll remember, it can be their name, and then a password, and that can be your dog's name or whatever. It could be the same password as they have at school or whatever. Okay, so go ahead and get that set up. Sign up for a, being able to be on the website. Excuse me. Okay. Can you raise your hand when you when you're on the website, please, and you're signed up? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're getting there. Good. Let me get this out of my way. <laughs> I guess. I'm such a lightweight. <laughs> That's my conclusion. Okay, so hopefully you're on there. I'd like you to take a look at Math Foundations. Just tap it, and it'll show a long, long list of titles. Those are the titles for this. Okay, then if you, <laughs> you're one step ahead of me. Okay, if you tap a title, 
then boom, you get another list, and that tells you how many sets of problems there are. Okay, so we'll start out with something nice and easy, but not necessarily just first grade. Okay, let's go down some more. Mental math addition, we bought the sixth one down. Yep, let's go set one. Okay, and there's usually videos of me. One of my former students became my videographer. <laughs> She likes to edit videos. OK, good. And so that worked out well. OK, then go ahead and go to problem number one. 4 plus 3 plus 6. Well, 4 and 6 make how much? Yes, 10. And then 10 plus 3 makes 13. So then you press 13, submit answer, it gives you your next one. 2 plus 4 plus 8, but hey, what does 2 plus 8 make? What's 2 plus 8? Uh, yes. And then 10 plus 4 would make? 10 plus 4 is? Yes. which is a 10 and a 4. Yep, so you, you were saying it, 14. So then press 14, submit answer. Now th 9 plus 4 plus 1, hey, 9 and 1. And then plus 4, final answer is 14. But I want you to choose the wrong answer. Oh, OK, we'll choose the wrong answer on the next one. <laughs> oh, you didn't submit yet. Let's choose the correct answer. OK, you did it. OK, then submit. And that'll give you like a little yellow box. That's a caution light. That means something's wrong. So then you try again. You go, oh, 14. So then you tap 14. You submit. And it goes away like it never happened. So that's nice. OK, because we all learn by mistakes in math. I made my fair share. And you just keep moving forward. 3 plus 4 plus 7, 7 and 3, and then plus 4. Wow, 4 was the middle number, yes. 14. They won't always be 14, but yes. OK, 3 plus 5 plus 7. So hey, 3 and 7, and then that plus 5. Yes, 15, yes. OK, now I want you, we're going to stop this. We're going to go to another one. So you go up to the top left where it says Monumental Math, and tap that, and it just brings you back to the home page. Okay. Then there's challenging math, algebra, and geometry. We're going to stay on math since it's K through 5 here. OK, then let's go down to uh, adding doubles. Nope, we're going to stay towards the top. Adding doubles. Set 1. OK, this is going to go really fast, but that's OK. OK, 1 plus 1. Oh, just do it as fast as you want. Two. Two. 6 plus 6. Yes. Yes, 12. 3 plus 3. 6. Yes. Um, 2 plus 2. 4. Yes. OK. 9 plus 9. 18. Oh, OK, just shout it out. What the heck? It's too hard to stay. OK, go as fast as you want. 5 plus 5 now. 8 16. plus 8, 16, that's right. Nine, 9 plus 9, OK. 8, 6 plus 6, good. And we're going to do the whole 25 so they see what happens at the end. 6, then 7 plus 7, 14, yes. 2 plus 2, yes. 5 plus 5, yes. OK, 8 plus 8, yes. 4 plus 4, yes. OK, 6 plus 6, yes. 4 plus 4, 8, that's right. 9 plus 9, 18, yes. OK, 9 plus 9, 5 plus 5, 10, yes. Good. 8 plus 8, OK. And 4 plus 4. 
Seven plus seven. Okay. And two plus two. And nine plus nine. Okay. Now, after you've done 25 problems, then you get helium balloons to celebrate. Can we get a pop-up? Yeah, sure. Yay. Pop them if you can, but just don't ruin the computer try. Okay. Uh, let's go to different problem set. Well, you know what? Before you do that, do the next problem set means we were on set one. It'll just make you go to set two. Okay. If you say redo it, it might be because you took a while to do one and go, okay, now I understand what to do. I'm going to redo it and try to do it faster and then do a different problem set so just takes you back to home page. Yes? Um, sometimes it doesn't let mine on either and I don't know why because like most of the time. We try to tap something, it doesn't do huh. And you're logged in? You're signed up, but it's not letting you do anything? Okay, can you tap that triple? Nope. There. That. I know. I brought last time I came with my son for the morning. Um, I was okay. on my laptop, and it was. Yep, it's got you in there, Jazzy. Uh, so let's go to no, okay. this. Oh, there we go. There they are. And total value of coins. That's what we're going to do next. Set one. Hopefully, it'll work. Okay, let's go. Let's do the black box. Takes us back to the home page. And then we're going to go to the one that's called total value of coins. Okay, total value of coins. That's down a little bit farther. Uh, there we go, but right in the middle. Okay, set one. Total value of coins. Now, if you're third, fourth, or fifth grade, you're going to go this pretty easy. Okay, then go for speed. Okay. Um, what's the value of one nickel and eight pennies? Yes. Thirteen, yes. Okay. What's the value of two nickels and three pennies? Two nickels and three pennies. Yes. Uh, 13. Okay, what's the value of two nickels and four pennies? Yes. 14. What's the value of two nickels and seven pennies? And this would be where Hundreds chart, okay, two nickels, I'm here, plus seven penny. Okay, yes. Seventeen. Okay, now we're going to stop doing this. We're going to go up to the top left again. Monumental math brings us back to the home page. And then go down to, um, round to the nearest ten. Round to the nearest ten. Okay, and there's usually videos of me that are like three minutes long only, so it doesn't take very long. So then they go, oh yeah, yeah, I know what to do. I, I remember learning this. And they can watch the whole video or they can stop it and just start doing problems. Okay, 79, round it to the nearest 10. That would mean if you're at 79, is that closer to 70 or 80? 80, good. And we're just going to do a couple of these. If you're at 33, is that closer to 30 or 40? 30, yes. OK. Then let's do one more. 57. If you're at 57, 57, is that closer to 50 or 60? Yes. 60 is right. Now, on, on your, if you would pull out this hand, this set of handouts, please. And if you still have something to write with, this column right here is blank. To me, that can be your progress one. So if this was my kid and they were doing it, I would fill in that they did level one. And I would fill in that box. And then kids like it when they've got three boxes already filled in. They only have two more boxes to go. Good. <laughs> OK. Then we did mental math addition, set one. So you could fill it in halfway, because we, we only did part of it. And then um, total value of coins is on the third page. 
So you can fill that in like halfway. That means I got it started. Because if they're looking like, what should I work on? Well, ones you already have started would be good. And then we're going to go to change back from a $1 bill. OK? Change, we're going to leave this one and go to change back from a $1 bill. And I'll show you why we can just leave them. OK? Change back from a $1 bill. That is going to be a lot like using the hundreds chart. If you use a $1 bill and you only needed to give them six cents, what do they need to give you back? Well, they need to give you this four and then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90, and so the total of 94. Okay. <laughs> oh, it was five cents? Sorry. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> You give them a dollar bill, but it only costs 15 cents. They'll keep the 15, and then they'll give you 5 plus 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, plus that 5. So they'll give you 85. 85. That's right. If, if it costs only 20 cents, they keep the 20 cents, and they will give you back how much? 80 cents, yes. Okay. <clears throat> if it's worth 25, they'll keep the 25 and they'll give you back how much? 5 to get to 30 and then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, yes. 75 cents. Okay. Now, I would like, we're going to stop at that because it just gives you an idea of what to do. Plus, um, by where it says monumental math and it says problem sets, push problem sets and then push my progress. And it tells you you've done all these things. So, and it tells you how long it took. So it tells you you completed four out of 25. So far, you got 100%. You got it done in less than a minute. If you push complete, it knows you've got four done, so it brings you to number five. OK, so that's convenient because uh, we stop and start in life because everyone's busy. You might do 20 minutes one day and then not get back to it for three days and go, OK, what was I working on? Well, looking at that listing, it's under problem sets, my progress. That can tell you, oh, yeah, I was working on these. Those were easy. I could do those again. If you already know a topic, work on speed. OK, uh, questions so far on this? Okay, you have an idea of how to use that printout and how this can help, and it's free. Yes. Yes, that's the thing that I didn't understand. What was what were the statistical needs? Okay. Like we just worked on uh, on the third page, the title at the top says total value of coins. And then I always leave this first column blank. So if, you, if, you, if your child has started it, they can fill it in halfway, because, OK, I got it started. OK? And that way, this can help you keep track of it. Yes, it is. It's a pencil paper way, but hey, it's free. I haven't spent the millions of dollars that some of the websites have spent. OK? If I win Powerball someday, we're going big. Yes. What, what? Oh, we, um, would, you, do you, would you know how to get back to the, oh, um, Elise, could you help them get back to the home page and then problem set, my progress, and see what all they've done? OK. Um, let's go to the second one, total value of coins. It says we've done four problems, so go over and push complete. And so it'll bring you to number five. So what's the value of three nickels and two pennies? Yes. 17 cents. That's right. Let's do two more. OK, what's the value of three nickels and five pennies? Yes. 20 cents. Yes. OK, what's the value of three nickels and eight pennies? Yes. More than that, three nickels. 
<laughs> 23. You were very, very close. Okay. So then if we stop doing this, then the record will show that you've, you've completed seven problems or eight, whatever we just did. Total value of coins, it shows that we now got seven of them done. Okay. If, if you don't start this back up until a week later, it'll say the amount of time it'll say it took you four days to get this done. Sorry, I, my son is a software developer and he's the one who developed the website. And I said, Drew, can you make it so that they don't, you know, it stops when they stop. And so they do, it doesn't look like it took them four days. Oh yeah, I'll work on that. <laughs> Yeah, can you make it higher priority, please? OK, that kind of thing. Um, if you log out, there you go. Um, then, hmm, yes, right here, this is a carousel. And it tells some extra information. And then if you tap the little circle, it'll go to the next one. Go to the next one. Then if this one advertises, I have apps. And if you tap on one, it takes you to the Apple Store. So then you can go download it. It takes you right to where it is in the Apple Store. And then you can download it. And it shows, OK, ballerina one. OK, then let's go back. Yep, there's lots of them. Uh, let's go, yeah. Then let's go to like the next one over. Yeah. Um, these are the three that are all dealing with fractions and takes you right to them. You have a little avatar, and every time you get it right, he jumps to the next one, and he smiles at you. And he jumps to the next one. If you get it wrong, he makes a frowny face, he kicks the ground, and, but then he's ready to go again. <laughs> um, the animator did all that good stuff. I said, I just don't want it to be a boy or a girl or an ugly animal or something. I want it to be cutesy and entertaining, but not distracting. So my apps always have Half of the screen is math, and half of the screen is cutesy. Okay, um, that one, again, my son. Okay, I've had Android apps out for over a year, and I've said, Drew, this says they're still coming soon. I've got five of them now. Can you change that? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, tomorrow would be a good day, but he hasn't done it yet. So let's see if it, oh, and then it advertises I have an account on Teachers Pay Teachers. It does bring you, oh, yeah, it, uh, no, this brought you to the Apple. Bummer. OK, life isn't perfect. Uh, I'll work on that. <laughs> OK, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the evening. It's always a wonderful thing when they start out by feeding you and feeding everybody. That's always nice. I really think that's cool. Um, the pencils, mechanicals, are still mine. So if you, this is my holder for it. I'm not showing my coffee cup. <laughs> but, and you could just leave them on the middle of the table. And if you have any bills or coins, you can just leave those on the middle of the table. We'll just clean it up later. But anyhow, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, parents, you can use real coins with them. And then like if you're doing the total value of coins, have them pull three nickels and two pennies or whatever. The problems are all ready for you. You don't have to print anything off. Okay. You keep the folders, yes. Okay. Good night. Thank you for coming. <laughs>